Eastland Scientific Enterprises Corporation. I've made several videos regarding Dr. Bernard Eastland and uh, he actually invented harp. You can go through all of this. Anyway, what I wanted to go into is I wanted to do a little bit of review over um, the weather and what the possibilities really are for controlling it. Some people seem to be a little bit confused about that. So we have the Cosmic Ignition Weather Modification Tools and the biggest one that they have, the biggest tool that they have, is the co Cosmic Particle Ignition Plasma Patterns in the Atmosphere, SIPA. ground base microwave heater beams coming up. I've gone through all this stuff before. So, but the properties that they're capable of is lightning, creating uh, differences between the positive and negative uh, charges. So here they can go from cloud to cloud. They can go make a thunderstorm within lightning within a cloud and then of course the regular cloud to ground they can control the jet stream by heating the edges of it they can steer it in any direction they want so the next time you see something that it isn't going in the right direction like we had about a month ago off the East Coast. That's what it is. I also just heard somebody say something about a storm that came right up to the edge of the coast and stopped. Yeah, that is possible in normal weather patterns. It is possible. But it's also possible to steer it, stop it, make it go backwards. They can do whatever they want. Again, using microwave beam heaters in fixed locations. And they can make tornadoes. All you need is a couple of little microwave radar beams Going up again to the plasma heating zone. Here it says they can mitigate it. Yeah, they can make it too, like they've been doing. They can do anything because they're playing God. And then we're, here we have um, what they would plan to do was mitigate all of these heavy particles of ash and dust and soot, but no, that would that would mean that they would be trying to save us. And with 33 volcanoes going off today, it will blanket the atmosphere. It takes years for these particles to precipitate. And that dust layer reflects off the sun and it makes the earth cool. So you think that it's colder than normal right now in certain places? You ain't said nothing yet. We've got a huge rip in the magnetosphere. Huge. So we're gonna see sun flares reaching the earth. disrupting the Earth's crust, making these volcanoes go off more, having more earthquakes. This one is pretty much inevitable, nuclear war. And this meteor strike, heck, Elenin, Nibiru, Wormwood, 
Death Star, Dark Star, whatever you want to call it, it's going to leave a dust trail, right? That's what everybody's saying. We could mitigate these things, but no, it, it's going to happen. So, I just wanted to put that out there. Some people seem to be a little confused about what the true possibilities are. Well, anything is possible. Anything is possible. And we're not the only ones with this technology, so don't stop and think for one second that the United States is, is doing this to everybody else. We're not the only ones. China, Russia, I mean, UK, Australia, I mean, Harp is a, a pretty big term that is encompassing all of this. And, and I think it's used really pretty loosely. Anyway, uh, let's just quit complaining about all this stuff and get educated and figure out a way to get past it. Be prepared, jump through hoops, do whatever you got to do. Um, I am going to be going on a trip, and I will be uh, doing some extensive research on the flooding that is in that area. So we'll, we'll see. Alrighty, take care.